kind of nervous. Because it makes us want to know more. It makes us chase it. The weird part is, is that God's silence to you is proof that He's heard your prayer. Huh? Because He trusts you. He, he doesn't have to say anything for you to know that He loves you and that He knows you love Him. His silence to you is a, is a compliment to say, hey, you know, I don't have to get on that right now because I know so-and-so really loves me. It's connected with me. It's a compliment. If you and I live with the understanding that God has to visibly answer all of our prayers, then you'll always find an answer. If all you ever pray for is yeses and noes, easy. Oh, that must be a no. That must be a yes. But if you and I live with the idea that sometimes God wants to say nothing, what it'll do is it draws us into deeper relationship with Him. Because what we have is a confidence that says, ultimately, I know God heard me. I know God has heard me. Unfortunately, if all you ever do is have checklist prayers, you'll never know the spirit and the grace of his silence. And that's the most intimate form of part of the relationship. Just like in a marriage. We get to that place. When you and I realize that prayer is the way that we get to know God's mind, then he gives you the first part of that, which is a silence. It, it, prayer isn't, again, a position of the heart. It's not 15 minutes here. It's not sitting in a certain place or doing a certain thing. Prayer is about getting to know God. Because when we get to know God, then we can live out His plan. And it's interesting to me, you know, that Kelly comes to be with us here today. Because on the back of the sheet that is in the seat, there's a place for you and for me to be a prayer partner with Kelly. Now, the way I look at this is, Kelly should get about 90 of these back today. Because there's about 90 households here. True? How much does prayer cost you? How much does it cost? Are we paying by the minute? I mean, do we only get 3,000 minutes a month and after that it goes up you know, a nickel a minute or what? No. Prayer doesn't cost us anything. So we can certainly support Kelly with prayer. Amen? Right? So you're going to fill that out and you're going to turn that into her when you leave. Correct? Okay. Now my question to you is this. What are we going to pray for? We're going to ask. We're going to ask God to bless Kelly's ministry and to bless the ministry of Camps Crusade. And Brian and Gigi Kirschenbaum, some of you know them, they're getting ready to head to Virginia Beach to, to begin their ministry up there. You know, we have another uh, campus uh, minister that we support too. Okay, my, my point is we can all do that. And maybe today you can write her a $20 check or a $50 check or a $100 check or whatever it is. That's between you and God. But all of us can put that in the prayer part, right? And what I'm going to ask you to do is, on your way out, just hand these to Kelly. Give her a hug, a handshake, high five, a headbutt, whatever you're into. And tell her you're going to be praying for her. She doesn't look like the headbutting kind. So. But my point is, we can do this. We can do that. And as a church, when we pray, what are we praying for? God, this is what we're going to do. God, this is how we're going to do it. No. God, what are you up to? What do you want us to do? What do we need to learn? What, what changes do we need to make? What, what adjustments do we need to make? What, what confession do we need to do? That, that, that's, that's how we need to pray. And I want to do something just a, a tad bit different. I, I want you to stay seated where you're at, but I want you to take the hand of the person or persons beside you if you're comfortable doing that. If it's somebody that you don't know, introduce yourself and then take their hand. But, but, I, but I want us to pray together. And I want us to pray together differently. And I want to give you a minute as families, as, as groups there, to, to pray together. Um, and I'm only going to give you a few seconds, maybe 60 seconds, just as a small little cluster. And then we'll pray together as, as a church family. But, but let's pray together, okay? You take time, you pray out loud, and uh, you go ahead and do that.
Father, today we uh, gather together today to ask you to um, accept our thanks, to accept our gratitude today for the many things that you've done for us. We ask you today, God, that you would inspire us to be the church and the people that you need us to be. That you would give us courage and expand our vision and our understanding of the people that you've placed in our lives already that we might have the opportunity to impact their lives. God, we would ask today that you would continue to provide the resources that we need to accomplish the vision that we believe that you've given to us. And we ask, God, that if we're off track as a church, as individuals, as families, that you would redirect our thoughts and redirect our passions. God, we ask today that you would be with the marriages and, and the families and the family units that are in our church, whether they be single parents, divorced, single people, or our, our seniors, God, that you would just continue to uh, provide uh, strong leadership for us in terms of the Holy Spirit guiding our lives as well as through the teaching that we have in our small groups and, and through the, the worship times, God, that we continue to learn. And God, we have people today that are struggling going through very difficult times. We would ask today that you would help us as a church to figure out things that we can do for each other to show your love to people. We ask, God, that you would help us to learn and to have our minds open to the many things that you can teach us and show us today. God, we ask that through our prayer time that we would get to know you and know your heart and know how that you look at people so that we can look at them through the eyes of Jesus. And God, what we ask today is that we would want to connect with you as much as we want to breathe and eat and spend time with our best friends. God, help us to grow so intimate with you that in those times of silence that we understand that you're drawing us closer to you. God, we trust you in all things. We ask that you continue.